Welcome to Kerbal Space Program with Enigma and Enigma Jr. Today, we're going to play Kerbal Space Program Contract Pack Giving Aircraft a Purpose. If you've been following along, this is our third episode. We're going to drive a tour bus. Go ahead and say hi, Enigma Jr. Hello, everybody, and this is the conclusion of oh, Boss. There we go. Let me try that. <laughs> go ahead and say hi now. Hello, everybody, and this is the conclusion to the third episode. Conclusion? We're just getting started. What are we talking about? Oh, so basically, this is the third episode, building a tour bus. If you read the title, and we're gonna be doing something fun, I bet. You bet. We'll start with the tour bus. Get this over with. The reason why I wanted to show this one is just to get the concept behind the uh, contra pack, picking up passengers and taking them places. So uh, you'll be doing that with airplanes as you go along. Uh, something I didn't uh, explain in the previous episode when we made it, uh, air, a glider, I think I don't think I explained very well, uh, is that uh, the member services I finished up buying up the rest of the technologies here. Um, and if you do buy all the technologies at, in the get-go at first, um, you obviously will run out of cash. Uh, you'll need to go ahead and then, uh, look at doing uh, a venture capital funding loan. This here, uh, once you uh, drop below a certain amount of funds, I think like 6200 here, um, it'll uh, become active and you can choose to activate it, at which point you just then, uh, pay those funds uh, by simply canceling the contract. Very useful. Uh, I think you can only get it a couple of times. Uh, offered to you, so uh, use it sparingly, but for sure, for getting started, it's definitely useful if you want to just unlock all the text in one get-go. Moving on, um, we did complete the glider contract. We could do the airplane contract, but uh, we would need to have parts uh, that actually can, can um, get us up into the air using an, an actual liquid-fueled engine uh, with that's air-breathing, but uh, we'll cover that in the next episode. Um, but for now, uh, we'll just stick to the program here and go to driving a tour bus for KSC. So this one here, uh, it's great to have this tour bus contract because it's a way to make funds. Smaller amount of funds, of course, uh, than flying people around, but for sure a way to make money if you find yourself running low on, on cash, which uh, can happen in, in career, um, especially if you really get bored with doing some of the contracts out there, you're just kind of binking around, so, which I love to do. I'm going to accept this contract and let's get to uh, building a, um, a tour bus. You can tell here passengers have already spawned at the astronaut complex. So we're going to pick them up, take them around. I can see what I need to do here. I need to have a driver, at least six passenger seats. I need to pick them all up at the complex, drive them around the space center, basically like the driving car contract with the added requirement to uh, bring passengers along for the journey, so. Can I build this? Sure, absolutely. Alright. Here I go. Not a very good bus builder, but I can drive a car better than Enigmas can. That's because I have more experience, so. I always want to start with something pretty nice, like this. And that mini okay. I-beam. Now, so this bus, you're gonna need two of them. It's always great to start off with these things right away. How quickly? Out. How quickly can we make that up here? If you put in the six seats on there, did you get this completely lined up? This is nice. Four down, I'm gonna have to get another bar. So yeah, ginormous bus. <laughs> you gotta make it a long bus. I'm not so sure. That's gonna be very maneuverable. <laughs> and I guess most buses usually aren't. Oh, yeah. It's not like you see donuts doing I mean donuts. It's like you see buses doing donuts, except maybe on crazy YouTube stunt videos, but how many seats we got there? Six. Uh, I think we need that plus a driver, so we're going to need seven seats all together, I believe. Well, I'm going to start working on the wheels. Oh, 
There we go. Does that look like a bus to you? <laughs> hey, it's early in the game. You can't be perfect. <laughs> Batman batteries. I don't know why it says it's experimental. It's because we unlocked them as part of the uh, the contracts from before. Uh, they only stay experimental until you uh, research the node. There we go. That should have enough batteries to drive this car around. Let's take it for a test run. Okay, who are we going to be driving? Jebediah, first guy. Cool music. Here we go. Here's our first attempt. This thing looks too big. But you can't be perfect. No, it's driving. Look, it's going. Let's give it a turn test. I'd say it's definitely going. I'm just gonna drive it on the runway. How, how are we doing on power? Oh, we're fine. Yeah, it should be just fine. Go ahead and uh, see if you can speed up by one. You should be able to. Without it, no, uh, I want to drive this at normal speed. Ah, but we want people to be able to watch this all the way through without getting bored here. Let's try second level. There you go. Well, I don't want to tip this thing over, so I'm going to have to cut it when I need to turn. Absolutely. This thing... That's oh, right. Uh, oh. How do I re stop this thing? B. A break. Oh, this thing has excellent turning. Welcome to the, Whoa! the caterpillar bus. Sort of look like a caterpillar. Don't crash. You don't have an en you don't have an engineer. Hey, that's probably a good idea if you are doing this contract to be driving around with an engineer so you can. But fix that would your be wheels. require eight seats, and that would require Bill. And you would have to be certified to be able. To oh, look at here. that! Without using cheats, I just lined them up perfect. Now, how's that? I want to slow down. There you go. This stuff slows down pretty fast. Alright, looks like you've got a couple of kerbals there. So how do you switch to the kerbals? Basically use these. You know how you make some smiley the, the, faces in chats? The brackets? Yeah. These are the brackets. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You need to lock your brakes. Flip back using the bracket. Uh, and then right click on the seat. And just hop them on in there. There you go. Now I don't torture you guys with uh, having to do um, uh, you know, a bunch of these type of contracts here. Mm. I think there's just left like, one airplane or two airplane contracts to do that, where you have to actually load your passengers manually. Hope but there's a button stand that allows you to do it. Yeah. I think by doing this, at least it gives the game kind of some more. Oh no! I guess realism. Long passenger seat. Whoopsie! I'm gonna have to move him to the front. Whoopsie! All right, he could just be your front seat passenger. You know, just call him the the windshield. <laughs> I'll make him the windshield. <laughs> the windshield passenger. Last passenger. Here we go. All right. Now we just have to switch. There we go. Just need to switch back. Ah, come on. I forgot how to do this. You got it. No, you can't. You can't really switch seats while you're in it. Okay. But you're fine. You should be able to go and start driving. All right. Let's get this thing on the roll. So let's go and get your contract uh, map showing. I'll, t I'll tell you where to go to first. Or actually, can kind of drive anywhere. I don't think it has to be in sequence. Okay, let's go to the nearest one, which is right there. So look, you're taking tourists around the KSC. And getting paid to do it. Whoopsie! Okay, very gentle on the control controls. Somebody forgot, forgot their sack lunch at the admin, admin building. Here we come. I'll let him take a little peek inside at the tower place. Gotta get a little closer there. Ah, 
looks like you may actually have to drive it in order. Dude. Yeah. So, what's your first uh, location? The space center. So, That's which right. is that thing? That's right. I'm on open to suggestions. I mean, if you guys want me to make it so that you don't have to drive in order for this particular contract, just let me know in the comments. Or if you keep it as is, just to keep keep it uh, stock. Yeah, keep it stock. <laughs> stock. Stock gap. Okay, where the heck is the space center? We'll just, just guess. Well, you can hover your mouse over the waypoints, and they tell you what they are. So that's the R&D center. That's the tracking station. That's the space center. There you go. As long as you're going four meters a second, you're fine to turn. Turn into the beat. What's your energy look like? Oh, we're fine. I'd say you probably could serve it. You're dropping already a half. No, not yet quite half. I'm gonna start let going because this thing can coast a really long time. I right, check your contract, see if you check mark that uh, waypoint there. Yep, you did. What's your next one? Drive. I'm actually gonna keep that open. Drive to the tracking tra station. Station. That's easy. Just turn this bugger around. Get this up to full speed. Now, of course, when I'm playing, I like to really take my time and come up with some really amazing crafts just to finish these off. This thing likes the coast. I'm just gonna leave it coasting without using the batteries. What a way to conserve energy. Now for those of you suffering through this particular episode, um, you're going to learn something cool about the contract pack is that you can modify uh, certain aspects of the pack uh, using the Alt-12 menu. As soon as Enigma Jr. gets to this waypoint, I'll show you the Alt-12 menu. Go ahead, make it. Go ahead and start driving to the next one. Which is the R and D center. Yeah, well, watch out! There's a huge hill. Let me dip in the middle there. There you go. So if I do, I'm gonna let go for a minute. If I do Alt F12. Oh, that's not it. Alt F10. Alt F11. F11. Alt. Uh, Alt F. Yeah, it is Alt F12. You get to the uh, contract configurator. Hey, menu. there's something right there. Yeah, <laughs> let me fix that up. There we go. Let's get this thing up going. The contract configurator debug uh, menu is actually very useful to see if so, you know where something might be broke if you're into that. Um, see some of the code behind the contracts. It allows you to also to reset, I think, your contract progress. Um, it's either that or you can go to the actual KSP cheat menu to go ahead and uh, reset contracts if things get bugged out. Because sometimes that can happen. It's not it's not completely perfect. Um, Night and Guild is the best, of course, to accommodate uh, any bugs that I do find. He's, he's an amazing mod maker. Uh, without him, contract configurer would not exist and gap certainly would not exist. Now we just finished the contract. Did we? And what do you need to do next? Have we finished it yet? We just need to get it. Recover the vessel, and I just need to get this one photo. Good photo. Alright, go and recover that. Alright, next one. Three, two, one, and we just finished the thing. Good job. We just finished it. Awesome. Well, that was a pretty pretty quick uh, quick run through. Awesome. To show you uh, the, real quick the Alt F12 uh, console, this gets you... Okay, Alt F12 gives you the cheat menu for Kerbal Space Program. But if you do Alt F10, you will get the Contract Configurator um, menu, uh, a debug menu. And there's log, a debug log you can use with it. You can expand the, the contract packs that you've got installed see what's all out there, what's what's available. Um, anything green is working, anything red is definitely broken. Um, please report those to me. Uh, anything yellow uh, probably doesn't exist or there's just some warnings in there, but not, it's not going to break anything as designed. So 
Um, I haven't uh, completed the space transportation contracts yet. That'll be in the future release of GAP someday. <laughs> uh, if you guys have questions about how any of this works, feel free to post your questions in the forum or in the comments, or uh, definitely uh, check out Nightingale's uh, uh, forum thread for Contract Configurator. Uh, for contracts, uh, for clearing those out, you go to your um, Alt of 12 menu here for Kerbal Space Program, and you can, of course, uh, clear your contract history, uh, archive, remove those contracts, and hopefully it will actually then reset uh, a large number of the contract offerings. Now, to get contracts to reappear after, you know, say something really gets bugged out, um, you can fast forward time a couple of days out, you can switch to the tracking station and back. Um, or just go back into mission control in and out a couple of times and hopefully things will regenerate at that point. So, But uh, yeah, that's it for this episode, uh, driving a bus and how to access uh, debug functions. Um, See you guys next time. If you guys have any questions, just, uh, just let me know. Thank See you, you and uh, drive and fly safe. See ya. Have fun.